Hi guys, Scott from Adrenaline Adventures here. Thanks for watching. I'm up in Halliburton Highlands. I'm with my wife and my buddy Lauren who runs Base Camp 35. He does ice climbing guiding in the area and today we're going to be doing some ice climbing and uh, we're going to have an epic time so uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. There's more cool videos like this all the time. Cheers. <music> We began our adventure by meeting in the parking lot of the Ox Narrows Restaurant and Lodge. Lauren provided all of our gear, which included harnesses, boots, crampons, helmets, and ice axes. Ice climbing boots are a cross between a ski boot and a hiking boot. We took the opportunity in the parking lot to get our harnesses on, our boots on, and our helmets. Lauren loaded his climbing gear into a small ice fishing sled and I loaded all of my camera gear into my ice fishing sled. I actually started my uh, climbing career up here uh, 19 years ago. So this is my 19th season of ice climbing and rock climbing. I actually love both. Um, in ice climbing, it's kind of a bit of a choose your own adventure. Um, once you're comfortable hanging on the ice axes and pulling down on those, every hold is a good hold. So a very simple rock climb, you could actually associate with this different muscle groups altogether. But as you're swinging, you're gonna find that um, it's a stable hold. You're gonna learn how to grip them so you don't, uh, you know, you'll, you'll over grip them at first and you'll be nervous, mm -hmm. but then you'll loosen up a bit. Um, and when you get comfortable swinging and kicking, it's very fluid and graceful. Awesome. So we'll start planning the vacation. That's great. You're like, man, we haven't even great. climbed yet. <laughs> oh, Sorry. you, you, you get ready. Before we could get started climbing, Lauren had to hike up to the top of the waterfall and secure ropes and anchors so we could safely climb up to the top. To say the least, our safety is the number one priority for the day. Dina and I are more than convinced that Lauren has taken every precaution necessary to make for a fun and safe day. focused so just all the way back towards your knee uh, sorry your, your, your elbow to your ear okay that's how far back we swing that is a bomber ice axe right there not coming out okay back everything's in line with your shoulder so as I swing back my elbow is coming way back here you'll see lots of people that will swing from the wrist from the elbow and you're gonna get tired these are the bigger muscles right so all the way back all the way forward now, if I'm trying to swing into the ice and I'm swinging from the wrist, I'm gonna get tired. From the elbow, I'm gonna get tired. So, I'm gonna keep swinging into the same spot. So even though I've broken that off, well, now you've already started mining, you might as well at least finish it. Um, so I'm gonna swing into the same spot that I started. Okay, does that look solid? If it, even if it's not solid, it's buried so deep that you could, you could pull on that all day. So that is, a decently placed ice pick. So I focus on the spot, I'm gonna swing, I'm gonna pull back, so it's gonna be slow motion, back, forward, and at the very end I'm just gonna flick gently, and that's gonna to help to drive the pick in, okay? So if we do that in faster motion, 
okay? I want to kick with my toe tips up and I want my heels basically to drop down. So as I'm kicking, I'm kicking with my toes up. If you can't see your toes, it's gonna to be really challenging. Um, so as you're pulling down on that tool, I can now kind of hang back, um, st lean back with my, uh, my butt and kick it in. Boom, boom, okay? So now I'm, I am in a hanging position, okay? So after I've done this, the next step will be pick, kick, kick. I will go again, pick, kick, kick, okay? And I will make one note. After I kick and I stand up, I'm aiming for somewhere a little bit higher. I'm gonna offset my pick slightly. I swing, I swing, and it's in there good. Pull down, feels good. As I step up the second time, I still want to remain stable. If I pull up and go directly vertical, I'm not going to be centered. I want to recenter my body under my left tool now because it's offset. Okay. And the reason we do this is for two reasons. We want to make sure that we don't have horizontal fractures in the ice and we want to be efficient. So if I'm swinging in alternating sequences, I'm literally um, cutting my swinging in half. A lot of people would swing side by side and continue. Not only is it not necessarily safe, it's wasting a lot of unnecessary energy, right? So I pull down, I look at my feet, I kick, tips up, I kick, tips up. Now I hang down, I stand up, pick out, and I'm leveraging that pick. That top blade will clear the ice, and I'm pulling. If it's up high, it's hard to do, right? So I can get even higher, crank up on it, aim, swing, aim, swing, good. Feels good, look down at my toes, bum out. I'm basically bringing my foot close to my leg and then kicking sideways, okay? And I wanna make sure they're in there. If they don't feel like they're in there, I keep kicking until they're in. Once I feel like, yep, I'm on those, as I drop my heel, you note that the secondary points bite in. As I do that, it feels stable. Stand up, pick out, swing, okay? I do a lot of kids tying, so this is how I do it. Make a little head like that for mm -hmm. Frosty. Then I like to put a scarf on him, and then it gets mad. Poke him in the eye. So that's how we tie a figure eight. And again, we make sure we have about an arm's length of slack. That's how much we need to kind of tie it through. Okay? Right. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through this tie-in point. And now we do what's called a follow-through figure eight. So we basically just dress the knot back through and we just follow the rope the same way it came out. And we just go around and everywhere it goes around, I go around. If it goes under and through, I go through, okay? And then I just keep pulling the slack. I wanna make this knot small here, okay? And then as I go through, it goes around and I go around. And then it comes out at the end, okay? Now to make this pretty, we wanna dress the knot. We wanna make sure all the strands are sitting nice and even, okay? And what we're looking for is two, 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 and two handfuls of slack minimum. So that's perfect, mm -hmm. okay? And then we just do a little bit of a pull on each of them independently, like so, and that tightens the knot. This is a constrictor knot, so it keeps tightening. Um, so what I'm gonna get you to do, just before you get 100 feet in the air, and you're like, I'm a little nervous, I don't wanna come down yet. No. Um, I've been there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do it two feet off the ground, so you can get comfortable with it. So you can try it out. I can make sure that you're in a good stance. Once you're good to go, then we're gonna start climbing. And snug, looks great, so it feels good. Yeah, exactly. So if you were to lean back right now, you probably would only go like a foot. And that's just minimal stretch, right? Okay. Clearly a natural. Okay, so this is where we're gonna call it the end of the climb. You've gotten to the top or um, you're at a spot where you're comfortable to say, yeah, you know what? Gave it my all and I'm tired and ready to come down. You're gonna be way up there. It's windy and snowy, so yell it out. Okay, it feels nice and tight. And I'm gonna say, got it. And now you can lean back on that rope. Trust me. <laughs> um, now you can climb up as high as you want. Remember, my goals, safety, fun, getting to the top. So
You get a double high five. All right. That was so good. I'm not, I'm not. First I'm time not, climbing all the way to the top. I'm not blowing wind here. Like, <laughs> awesome job. Like, really great. Hey, Deke, it work. What do you think? It's really cool. Are we going to go shop for some ice climbing gear now? Uh, yeah. Hey? <laughs> better be. <laughs> If not, I'm just gonna give it to you. All right, more shopping, more gear. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, honestly. So my wife made things look pretty easy with her first two climbs, and now it was my turn. In line with your shoulders, just like that, driving it down. Nice. Uh, so just before you step up, remember, see that right pick? See how it's a little wobbly? Yeah. It's okay, um, but again, give it a little test. The left one looks better. The right one. Try again. Right there. That sounds like I can tell by sound. Sure. Um, and usually that's pretty much all you need. So. Okay. Oh, we go. Nice. Yeah, see, it's super fun to swing into. Now, see your right foot there. Uh -huh. What I'm gonna get to do is stop for a sec. Turn your uh, pivot on your front points with your heel to the right. So just pivot on the toe, heel to the right. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. So the idea is we want to be perpendicular to the ice or like 90 sure. degrees. Okay. So when you kick in, whatever the plane of the ice is, mm -hmm. make sure you're kicking in nice and square. So so as so bring that down about a, a foot and try and kick tips up and square your foot up a bit more to the right. There you go. And that looks much better. This is as much fun as I was hoping it would be. Imagine this climb times two. No, very cool. And in, in height. The climbs over there on Raven are 40, 45 meters high. So almost an entire rope length. And again, obviously, whether that's this season or next, that's completely up to you. But um, the conditions are pretty good, actually, this year. My friends are going out there on Saturday, so they can get some pictures and we'll see how it is. Yeah, so again, you're, you're just into that uh, pinch point there. So maybe step to the right a little bit. And then straight up to the entry to the car for the end of the day. And B, you both need a challenge. <laughs> you suggest what? Blue pillar. Oh, blue pillar. A, it's gonna have wild footage for all of us. Okay. It's gonna be the best challenge of your day. And I guarantee that after a couple climbs, you are both ready for this. All right. This is showing me your, your skill level. This is your test. The next one over there is gonna be your test, uh, round two. And then blue blue pillar is like the final exam, and uh, you're you're both doing this, and you're just gonna lean back and trust me, I got you nice and easy. And as it gets a bit uncomfortable, slowly step down with your feet, making contact with all the points on the ice. Yep. Little uh, the uh, the ledges are a little awkward sometimes, but um, toe toes uh, points uphill. There you go. And then lean right back, and down we go. Nice wide stance. It almost is uh, exaggerated, but nicely done. There you go. This way you can kind of, you know, if the rope's pulling you around a little bit, you're nice and stable. You can kind of react like a cat going into a bathtub. Pretty much, it's gonna pull you towards my rope. I'm kind of the plumb line over here, so cool. it, it'll uh, swing swing to the left a little bit. There you go. Lots of gate strap. Good, good climb. Awesome. Like for that's your great. first climb, like that that's was ever. that was amazing. <laughs> that's great. You and your that's wife good. are. I think it's all with the instruction. Climbers. That's it. Instructor. Base camp 35. I go check it out. I hope so. Me and Dina can do this. You can do this. Yeah. All right. So when it, this is this your legitimate first time climbing, both of you. You're not lying to me. No. Yeah, yeah. For my second climb, 
Lauren set Dina up on a ledge so she could get some video of me on the vertical portion of the climb. I think she was more interested in taking selfies at the time though. Lauren runs Base Camp 35, which is a nice climbing guiding service. And if you want, if you're watching this video, you think I like to do that. It's not hard. It looks a lot more, uh, a lot tougher than it is, but uh, it's a lot of fun. This has been an absolute blast, and I'm gonna get to the top of this hill. <laughs> Bear Claws victory pose. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> nice work. It was awesome. So just slowly walk back. Yeah, there you go. Right there. So lean back, feet, feet flat on the ice. All right, guys, we're just wrapping up. Me, Lauren, and my wife, Dee, are just uh, heading back to the trucks. And I just want to say on camera, um, you know, Base Camp 35, if you want to do some ice climbing, Lauren is the guy to see. Check him out. He will hook you up. We had an awesome time. Another one in the books. All right, buddy. Cheers. Thanks for watching. All right, honey, what did you think of ice climbing? It was awesome. Yeah? I really liked it. Now, I think you should tell everybody how um, I drag in all these adventures and you're like sometimes you're like eh, it's okay whatever else but this one was particularly good huh? It was really good yeah and I'm much better at it than you are. <laughs> you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah and I don't know if people are gonna believe you that was the first time ice climbing. <laughs> hey, screw well when they see it yeah. Yeah it's pretty good. <laughs> And yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Lauren mentioned that we could take the kids, and uh, we have 16, 15, and 12 year olds. We can take them. Mm -hmm. They all want to come. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, we'll This is really good after. <laughs>